Hello, and welcome to Turkey's Foreign Policy in the Caucasus, an analysis utilizing visual analytics. The outline of the video is as follows. First, I will discuss the tasking. Next, I will share my analytic insights and the visual analytic products from which my analysis is derived. Last, I will briefly discuss visual analytics, as well as discuss advantages and disadvantages of basing an analysis on visual analytics. The tasking for this project originates from a classroom requirement. Each student analyst was required to choose both a methodology and a target to apply the methodology to. The methodology I chose was visual analytics, and the target I applied it to was Turkey's foreign policy. The question I posed to myself was, what issues originating in the Caucasus will have the greatest impact on Turkish foreign policy over the next six to eight months? There are multiple reasons for limiting the range of issues affecting Turkish foreign policy to this narrow focus. First, my initial assumption about Turkey is they have arrived at a foreign policy crossroad. One option is Eurocentric, a path Turkey continues to follow by harmonizing governmental policies into accordance with European Union policies in hopes of EU membership ascension. Other options include becoming a more autonomous nation. Still another is for Turkey to exhibit a regional leadership role in the Caucasus. It is the latter path which intrigued me the most, and therefore the subject of my final tasking. Other topics, such as Turkey's ongoing efforts to quell Kurdish terrorism and the Armenian Genocide Historical Grievance, were deemed unmanageable in scope for the time allotted to complete the project. There are two foreign policy issues originating in the Caucasus likely to demand the most attention from Turkish foreign policymakers in the next six to eight months. First, the protracted Russian-Georgian standoff is likely to demand Turkey develop more acute policies regarding this issue due to its NATO membership status. And secondly, the importance of Turkey as a choke point country in energy distribution to Europe via the planned Nabucco pipeline will likely continue to increase. At this time, I will present the visual analytic products from which my analysis is derived. I apologize for the poor quality of the screenshots. I will draw your attention to the appropriate portion of the screen as this section of the video progresses. For this project, I utilized FuturePoint System's Starlight Visual Information System version 4.1. The first step in both analyses was to import data into a repository. To this end, I utilized Yahoo News Search option from the Data tab and fed it into a data repository which I named Turkey. Each individual search then received its own view, a plotting of keywords into a data plot picture. This view was created by entering Turkey and Georgia as search terms. The grouping of points and words in the middle indicate a relationship between Turkey, NATO, Georgia, European Union, and gas. When I zoom in, I received a better indication of the relationship Turkey, Georgia, and NATO have in common. When Turkey and NATO are the search terms, the corresponding view represents much the same as the previous view. The continuity each view exhibited in key word groups and their relative proximity to each other within the views represents a strong interrelationship. There were two prominent views which led to my analysis concerning Turkey's importance as a choke point country in energy distribution to Europe. First, I began by creating a view using the search terms Turkey and Azerbaijan. The terms at the bottom of the view indicate a relationship between oil, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Russia, Georgia, Ukraine, and gas. After zooming in on the view, I discerned the relationship between all of these key words was the Nabucco project. When I created a view utilizing Turkey and Nabucco as the search terms, I was able to clarify the relationship. Azerbaijan, Russia, and Turkey are three countries with an interest in the flow of gas to Eastern Europe 
via the Nabucco pipeline. Again, the relative proximity of the groupings strengthened this relationship. Visual analytics is the science of analytical reasoning supported by highly interactive visual interfaces. It emerged from the need for better human system and human information interaction. To practice the science of visual analytics, intelligence analysts must utilize software programs to visually display large amounts of temporal data. This analysis would not have been possible without the use of Starlight Visual Information System. Visual analytics remains in a nascent stage. A phrase often repeated in discussions of visual analytics related to analytic forecasting is the ability to, quote, detect the expected and discover the unexpected. Further research and development must continue for visual analytics to reach its optimum utility so analysts may fully uncover the unexpected. As a final note, I would like to briefly discuss some of the weaknesses and strengths of utilizing visual analytics as a methodology. First is the technology learning curve. An analyst must be properly trained on how to utilize the software for maximum analytic output. Some features of the software went unused because I received no formal training. Second, the extensive processing of dirty data for useful analysis can be cumbersome. While noting those limitations, I believe visual analytics has numerous strengths. First is the ability to simplify a mountain of data onto a single computer screen. Next, I believe the visual representation of non-visual data is a powerful tool in intelligence analysis. Last, analysts can interact with data to gain wholly new insights to trends which beforehand went unrecognizable. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching.